a lot of people want to know how to get more traffic to their website, how to get more business, what's the best online advertising, and uh, there's lots of ways to do this, but I think the fastest and easiest way to get started is with Google AdWords and doing a pay-per-click ad campaign. And Google AdWords is a relatively cheap way to do some really effective advertising, and in my opinion, it's actually the best place you can spend your ad dollars compared to you know newspapers, magazines, radio. Yeah, it's just a lot more trackable, it's a lot more effective, and it's a lot cheaper. So pay-per-click ads are the sponsored results that are on top and beside the search, the natural search results. And I don't know about you, but I know every once in a while I will click on these sponsored links, and there's actually been studies done that um, you know pay-per-click ads only get about 10% of the clicks compared to the natural results, but users with the intent to buy something are more apt to click on the sponsored results than on the natural results. A great thing about pay-per-click is you can set it and forget it. So as soon as you set up your ad campaign and you tweak it just right, you can just leave it and you'll be bringing in new business without really doing spending a whole lot of money or um, you know spending a whole lot of time. And as you go, you can actually your advertising costs get cheaper, as opposed to just kind of spending the same amount. Um, though you know the more you tweak, the less you can spend. So I want to show you how to run a successful AdWords campaign. And the first thing I wanted to show you is just kind of an overview of what a Google AdWords campaign looks like. And the first thing is we have just kind of an ad campaign, which is kind of just an umbrella for everything, all the ads that we're running. And underneath that are ad groups. And these are basically just, like they sound, they're groups of ads. And the point of this is to keep everything sort of in one specific category. For example, if we are you know, selling website design, we want to have one ad group that's all about Orange County website design in the cities within Orange County. And then if we can have another ad group that's about e-commerce website design and we're only targeting e-commerce, people searching for e-commerce website design. And another one we can target people who are only looking for WordPress design. So we don't want to intermingle all these just in one ad group and send them all to the same landing page. Um, we want to separate all that out. So that's what an ad group is. It houses your ads and the keywords related to that ad. So what we do is we create an ad, we attach a bunch of keywords to that ad, and then we send them to a landing page. And the reason why there's more columns here is because we'll create another ad, attach different keywords to that ad, and send them to a landing page. And then we just repeat that over and over. And then we repeat that with the ad groups. Like I said, with different groups like e-commerce, we'd create an ad that said, e-commerce website design, have some ads that go to that, and then an ad that said something similar, um, like, you know, Magento website design, which is a type of e-commerce software, and send them to a landing page. And for simplicity, I made these all just go to one landing page, but you could actually send them all to separate landing pages. And the whole success in a Google's AdWords campaign lies in the fact that you're separating all this stuff out and you're not just grouping everything together and sending them all to your home page. So that's a really fast way to lose a lot of money and not get your, you know, not get your ROI on a Google AdWords campaign is to just group all the same ads together, all your e-commerce, your WordPress, your Orange County website design or whatever service or product you sell and then just send them all to your home page and sort of have them fend for themselves. What we want to do is keep all of our ads and our keywords specific to one topic. We want to send them to a landing page that is a custom design landing page that says on top, you know, if this is Orange County website design, the landing page, the title is going to say Orange County website design and it's going to mention specific things. And then our other landing page is going to say e-commerce website design at the top. And maybe, you know, in my case, it would have my e-commerce websites uh, at the top of the portfolio. For the most part, these are just kind of normal pages that um, are similar to your other website pages. We're not completely redoing a whole new page every time, but we're changing certain things like the title and sort of the focus of the page. That is sort of an overview. And now if we go over to Google AdWords, we can get it started. So the what you can do is just kind of put in AdWords into Google and then uh, just click on one of these first two results and it'll take you to AdWords. I'm not going to go through setting up your AdWords account. It's pretty simple. But once you have it set up, 
you don't have to enter billing information or anything right now. We can actually just play around with this before we do any of that. But the first thing that you want to do is you want to create an online campaign. And we're going to go with keyword targeted. And the campaign name, you can just put any sort of campaign here. And you can select your location here. We're probably just going to go with the United States and Canada. If you select one or more other locations, you can actually get um, just some local customers. If you have a business that only serves local customers, like a restaurant or something like that, then you can do show my ads within, say, 50 miles of your zip code. And it'll show you exactly where those are going to show. And then you'd want to take out any other bundled locations that you selected down here and you'd want to click on add and then once we save that or you can just go with what we had before United States you know English speaking countries whatever it is you want to do go ahead and leave all this stuff the way it is I'm not going to go over that right now and uh, just click on save and continue oh sorry we have to do our daily budget which is let's just put twenty five dollars you can change that later Okay, and this, if we go back to our handy little chart, now we're creating, um, it's going to have us create an ad group name. So let's create, like I said, Orange County Website Design. And then we're going to create our first ad. So this is, we just created our ad, first ad group, and now we're going to go down to our first ad. So if we put... Um, they limit your space, so really it can only fit in OC website design. Description, you just want to say um, something like, and then if you have any sort of sale or anything like that, I want to mention that there. Your display URL is going to be the landing page. So um, at this point, I'm assuming you've already designed a custom landing page, or uh, if you haven't, let's just put in something here and we can come back and change this later. Now an important thing to do is you want to actually, you want to actually make a, or we can take the HTTP out of there, you want to actually make the page that you're going to a name that people will associate with your ad. So for instance, each ad group, if we go back here again, each ad group is going to have this landing page and this is going to be called something specific this is all about Orange County website design so we may want to call this landing page you know OC or something like that or you know OC web or something like that in my case I just put design I don't think the OC is going to make a huge difference and then the destination URL it can be different but it can't be uh, too different this is just if you have really long URL strings for analytics or something like that. Um, don't worry about that too much. And then next we're going to enter our keywords. So you want to enter um, as many keywords as you can think of and uh, you can also use Google's keyword tool um, if you want. You can just click here and this will give you a little bit of information about how to choose effective keywords. Uh, I'm not going to get too into this here but for instance we're going to put Irvine or we'll put OC web design stuff like that. Click estimate search traffic. It's going to give you a, um, a, a an estimate of your cost and your clicks and all that kind of stuff. And so choosing the right keywords and choosing the right bid prices is where it gets a little bit uh, more esoteric. But what if you uh, if you're going to do this yourself, you're kind of just going to have to do a little bit of trial and error and you're going to have to base it on Google's estimates. And these are not going to be hard and fast um, estimates. They're, it's going to actually vary when you're doing this. So this is why you kind of have to just keep up, do a little bit of maintenance on it. And uh, this is how we're going to save money in the long term. So if we put in our default bid, let's say I, I already know that this is a really expensive click. So we're just going to say $5 is my de default bid. We're going to save that ad group and then it's actually going to tell you see this is below the first page bid the first page bid is 675 per click that is expensive i know it's very competitive and um, in your industry it may be as low as you know 50 cents a click 40 cents a click something like that it just all depends on your industry and kind of what you're going for and it depends on how much money you're making per 
person who's coming to your site. That's why it's really important to have a really good landing page, capture contact information, put your phone number really big because you don't want to waste any of these clicks because you're paying money for them. So the next thing you can do is click on the ads tab. You can add another ad. Just go to new ad, text ad, and then go ahead and make at least two ads per ad group. That way you'll have to you'll be able to compare. You can see the click through rates, which is just see which ad is working better basically. And that way you can continually improve over time. You can also add more keywords. Then the goal, if we go back to our little graph here, is now that we've created one ad group, then we're gonna create another ad group with a separate keyword. So say in this one we were doing e-commerce, we're gonna do all about e-commerce, we're gonna send them to a new landing page that talks about e-commerce. And then we're gonna do that again over here. And so this is how you really make your money back AdWords and do some effective advertising. For instance, uh, last month I believe I made over 13 times what I actually put out in AdWords. Just definitely don't create one ad group, one ad, and send them all to your home page. It's going to give you the wrong impression about what Google AdWords is all about and you're really not going to make your money back on that one. Your first month is going to be really tough, so don't judge your results based on this. You have to really see which keywords are working, which ads are working, what your landing pages are doing, what your conversion rate is, and you have to go back and tweak everything. And then this is how over time your ad campaigns become cheaper. It's because you keep tweaking everything, you make small changes, and over time that makes big differences. That's about it. If you need help with this stuff, using a professional's help is usually a really good idea with Google AdWords campaigns because um, it just gets a little bit complicated and the more you know about it, the more money you can actually save on advertising and on um, costs down the road. So if you have a professional set it up, you'll actually be able to reap the benefits of that professional setup for years to come. I'm going to provide a link underneath this video to an uh, AdWords service and thanks for watching.